Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Dishonored. I'm Nosgard Silverclaw here with our character Corvo, and today, well today we're going to start working on tackling Dunwall Tower to kill the Lord Regent. Is it bad I can say that so nonchalantly when it's apparently a huge deal in the series? There is a bone charm right there, as you can tell. But uh, we can't get it right now. Or oh, rat bone, I forget what they're called. We can't get it just yet, but we can get it very soon. Now right here, this is actually not that hard. You can either run right through, or you can blink through. Both options work equally well. There's a pile of rats up here because I'm on high chaos. Simple enough, just go up here to get around them. And we won't be killing the Lord Regent today, that would take too long, but we'll at least get, you know, some progress in that front. And incoming dialogue, so I'll shut up. That I like. That I like. I'm gonna get rid of, uh, I don't know, uh, this one and put on Fleet Fighter. I like that one. Faster movement. Our goal here, this whole ridiculously long climb, is to get to this right here, low, right here. I guess I know that's there, I was kidding. And uh, the trick to it is to blink about here and get behind it really quickly. If you don't get behind it really quickly, well, what kind of flowers do you want at your funeral? To put it lightly. Guards don't normally come down here, so there's no point wasting a wee, a wee wire tool on it. Although I might as well pick up the swag over here before I go. Might as well. I don't think there's anything left I want to buy in the game. But I might as well. Oh, right. Because uh, we lost the save, as I mentioned a couple videos back, I did lose all my skills. But that just means I can show you some skills I haven't shown you yet. For example, Wind Blast. Uh, this is a very aggressive skill. Um, you use it. People know they're in a fight. It's not, a, it's not really a question, honestly. Bend Time, which can be very aggressive or very not aggressive. It can go either way, really. Possession, I'm pretty sure I've already done, but I'm going to get it anyway, because I can. Oh, well, I'll get level 1 anyway. Hmm. Well, pity. And I'll pick up Bloodthirsty, which is a very, very, um... Well, it's a very... Uh, aggressive skill. This is purely for high chaos, that detections don't matter to me kind of builds. It is pretty fun. I'm going to show it to you regardless. Basically, you kill people in a rapid spree to build adrenaline, and then you go batshit. You'll see. All new assignments report directly First, I got to get my adrenaline up, which means I got to get in some fights. Come on, adrenaline. Work with me here. At level 2 it charges a lot faster, but I don't have level 2 yet, sadly. I'm unsure if it actually um, deteriorates over time, because it is called adrenaline, so you would think it would. Or if it just stays going. Not sure, but I do know the more you fight and the more killing and shit, the better it gets. That I do know. There's a rat swarm way over here that I don't particularly want to deal with, so I'm just going to take care of the rats. That will lure the guards over there, of course, but I'm really not too choked up about that idea. If all the guards come over here, it just bunches them up for easier killing. If I don't fuck this up, that is. Which, he's out of my range, so I'm not even going to try until I can actually make the jump. Let's uh, wait for the tall boy not to be a part of the equation before we do anything stupid. You know, because tall boy's scary. Alright, they're leaving. We're good now. So now that they're leaving, let's show off Wind Blast. 
Uh, I'm gonna say what I'm about to do is really hard, honestly. For me, anyway, it's pretty hard. And, uh, well, I want to show it to you, it's something I want to demonstrate, but I'll probably fuck it up once or twice, honestly. Not that. You'll see. I have to get seen by the tall boy to do it, but first let me just, uh, bloodlust. Oh, figures when I don't have anybody to kill with it. Yeah, see what I mean? Hard to pull off. Let me try that again. Um, it, the timing on it is really finicky, but if you do it right, it's literally pretty cool. It's the um, other main way to kill a tall boy besides just jumping on it. So let's try this one more time. Sorry about that. Okay, so here's that thing that I wanted to show you guys. It's called Wind Blast. I bought it just now to uh, demonstrate it. The way it works is well. Find a wall or an opening, pin people against it, and against it even works on tall boys. You can use it to throw their arrows back at them, and it'll stun the little guard as well. But it takes a lot of mana at the downfall, so keep that in mind. And it takes a lot of the thrown back to kill a tall boy, as you can see. Normally three more. Also, I did upgrade my pistol a bit, so let me just uh, stop getting hit and show you that. Hey, no fair. I fired first, asshole. As you can see, very quick reload, and I got four shots before a reload. So if you got plenty of bullets and you want to go on a shooting spree, that is actually a viable option when you upgrade your pistol enough. So, clearly this is not a very stealthy approach, as you can see. But, you know, not everyone likes playing that way. I have, I have a sick sense of humor, don't mind me. Yeah, I hit that thing out of midair. Go me. And I'm probably out of potions now, but that's okay. I just wanted to show that stuff off, and I don't. And I keep, I carry so many supplies. It's not a big deal if I lose all of them. I'll just find more. The game doesn't exactly go light on the supplies here. Anyway, they cleared out the first area, as you can see, so we can just walk on up. If you want to do it stealthy, just you know, well, you should know how to stealth the fight now. But, looks like it's going to be a pretty loud video, so let me show you a few other tricks I got. Such as... Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Such as this one. Freeze time. It does exactly what it sounds like. Yeah. Overpowered much? I'm going to go with yes. It is as ridiculously broken as it sounds, but I did want to show this stuff off, and so I figured I'm running. I'm actually running out of levels to do it with, so here's as good a time as any. I hope I got enough mana left to do this correctly. I mean, like take him out. Let's find out. Yep, I have enough left, and he's dead. That tower back there has still got aggro on me, that's annoying, but whatever. Oh, I got this upgrade too, if I can hit him with it. Basically, it's a sleep dart that works in combat instantly. So, you, if you wanted to go non-lethal and you got seen but you weren't going to restart over it, well, there's that option. You can just put them to sleep with a uh, combat sleep dart. But I'm not non-lethal, and that tower is really pissed at me now. As you can see, that tower was really pissed at me. And it's calm again. Okay, let's move on. I will go back to playing it, like, actually stealthy after this, but again, I wanted to show that stuff off. There was a conversation that goes takes place here that you missed. Can't someone help me? No one can help you. No one can help you. As I was saying, there's a conversation that takes place here that you missed. I'll give you the synapsis of it. I think synapsis is the right word. Basically, she's sad because this is where the Empress died. They even put up a memorial here, you know, in memory of Je Jasmine Keldwin, the Empress. The well, yeah, the witch always go last. The Lord Regent resides here, as do those who await their turn with the Executioner. But the departments did her. Mm. Generally, yes, that sounds accurate. He walks the floor, careful to touch each stone only once, counting. He cannot purge his mind of thoughts. Not sure who they're talking about. I'm guessing the Lloyd Regent. 
Anyway, let's actually get past this thing, like, properly now, you know, take a more competent stealth approach now that I'm done demonstrating random stuff. The guards are dead. If the guards weren't dead, there'd be a guy stationed about, like, where my blink is currently at. You could blink behind him and take him out when the tower's looking the other way. That would be my recommended method of dealing with him. When the tower's not looking, just slide down here. I prefer going around this back area to get past that tower. I think trying to approach it directly is something between suicidal and stupid, to put it lightly. There was a rune on the other side of this wall here, but we'll deal with that once we get inside. I'm not sure if you can actually get in right here or not. I've never actually tried. Now I'm curious. Hold on. <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can do that. If we can scale it. I don't think you can scale it. Nah, it doesn't look like you can. Okay. Never actually tried, but nope. Yeah, I didn't think so. Anyway, there are more guards, believe it or not. Even after all that, there are more guards. So, we are not done. There's some plague rats hanging out back here, hence why there's no guards here. They'd... Someone's supposed to be on duty. They would be dead. Guards do hang out in that tower, though, so be careful of that. You can try to slide in right through here, try and avoid the rats if you can. That's what I intend to do anyway, is slide in right through here. I find it to be a safer route to uh, enter this guard area. Be careful though, guard do patrol up here. And yay for swag. Ooh, and a grenade. I like grenades. By the way, I intentionally was seen a lot in this section because it actually altered the second half of this mission. The Lord Regent will only go to his safe room if you were detected, otherwise he'll hang out um, in the main area, and then we would like literally never go to the safe room zone at all, there'd be no reason to, and then I couldn't show off that epic finale for his, you know, killing that guy, and I want to do that. Luckily, if you're directly below a watchtower, they can't turn low enough to see you there. Use that to your advantage. Anybody else? No, look good to me. Alright. Let me just, uh, take care of it. Actually, I have a better idea. That way, if anybody else is around that needs to be killed, I'll have a little backup to do it with. But I'm pretty sure I got everybody. I stand corrected, they're shooting at something. Who the hell is still alive? Now I want to go find out. Who is still alive down here? Are they shooting at the rats? Is that it? Could be somebody in there, that would make sense. Somebody poked their head out the door. Yep, that's what I thought. Thank you, Watchtower. So apparently there was a guy who uh, was still in there, but now there isn't. Yep. Hence we had to go into the water lock instead of just taking the front door because they sealed it. Here's that wound we were looking for. And again, I will go back to a proper stealth one now that I'm done demonstrating things, or at least a remotely proper stealth one. But at this point, we're so blown on detections that I don't care. <laughs> Next zone. Once I zone in, I'll go back to trying to be quiet again. At this point, I'm just, I've been detected like a hundred times, it doesn't even, it, it, it is pointless at the, in this particular zone to care anymore. I just can't bring myself to be effortful after all that demonstration. Still, it was pretty fun. Just body parts and death everywhere. I had a good time with it. You can break in via the second floor, which I recommend actually. I think it's a good way to get in once you disable the tower. It's just safer than trying to go in the front gate. And there's loot. See what I mean? Dunwell Tower interior. You can slip in right here. But we don't want to do that yet because that's a different zone. And we haven't got the wound in the back yet. And that wound will not be inside because, well, wounds are determined by... Well, the zone you're, you're in. That, that's how they do it. 
You can see it's way the hell back there. This water has hagfish, so if you want to go in it, there's a better way than doing that. Quite simply, possess the ha- no, not Link. Oh, do I not have that skill right now? Oops. No, I do, I do, okay. You can see, I thought I bought Leboid Position so I could show this off. You can use a hagfish here, just possess one, the other fish won't bite you. With that, you can safely swim around here and avoid the fish. There's food down here, apparently. Actually, I didn't even know. I never cared to look. And when you're done, you can just hop out of the fish. And that'll put you way back here. But again, our rune is still considerably behind us. Eh, I'm showing off the area. Why not? Go away. Bad rat. Stop that. Clever rats. Yeah, this thing is sealed tight. You're not getting in here. Oh, I forgot something. I kept thinking there was something I picked up down here on my test ones. And there was. There was some TV and ore. Come on. Up you go. Work with me here, Corvo. Anyway. With all that exploring and murdering done. You'd think you could get back there like that, but you can't. Because the game hates you. Even from here, it's just a dead end. You can't go back there. Now, the reason you can't find that last wound is because it is technically in this zone, but you have to go through here and cut out the back door to reach it. That's the catch. But I just wanted to finish exploring and mopping the place up because I literally killed everybody but the rats and... It didn't feel complete without a perfect kill streak if you're going to go all ultra violence. And that should be more than enough detection to get the alteration to the uh, finale of this mission that I want. Mission clues updated. Welcome to Dumbwall Tower, by the way. The wound there, bone charm there, and a wound there. of any disturbances, Lord Regent. I don't care. Double the guards anyway. Triple them. Make sure everyone is doing what needs to be done. Yes, Lord Regent. Since the rooftop is secure, you should stay in the safe room for now. My men and I will ensure no one gets up to you. Yes, you do that, General. There we go. I'm heading up. Keep this area secure and use that alarm if there's any sign of trouble. That's what we were waiting for. I yes, sir. <coughs> That's what we were waiting for. I wanted to hear him say, I'm going, you know, please use the safe room, General. If the guy's response was something like, don't be an idiot, everything's fine, you know, then he's not, he's going to be in his bedroom, and that's less fun. Well, actually, it's much easier, to be honest, but that's less, um, how do I, what am I trying to say? That is, uh, that's a low chaos path. We're going high chaos, so we want him in his damn safe room. Make sure it's secure before you do anything crazy. Looks good to me. Although, let's let him wait for him to get properly in the corner. Okay, he looks back. He's up there. Take him. Or, fuck up the drop. I guess that works too. Sure. Okay, doorway's clear to poke in. Again, now we're actually going to try and play it stealthy again, now that I've got all my demonstration out of the way. Where the hell did this door go to? I have to know. I'm sorry, I have to know. Oh, right, right, the hagfish entrance. Yes, yes, there is some swag here. If you want to poke out and get it, I don't really care, but... Yeah, this is how you get in using a hagfish. You can just slip one in right through here. But you don't want to open that, because then the hagfish get in and start biting you. And that's no fun. But yeah, that's, uh, that's the hagfish entrance. So, there you go.
Okay, anyway, sorry about that. Uh, enough of my wandering and wasting time now. Let's actually get back to the goal at hand here. Careful in this area. There are three levels of zone here. Guards are patrolling all three. The Dunwall Tower skeleton key we got in the mission with Lady Boyle. Alright, so that's enough clowning around for now, I think. I'm gonna go ahead and end the video in this hallway. Kitchen key is right here if you don't have the skeleton key for some reason. Well, let's hear this. And this train needs to go to the torture. I mean, the royal interrogator. Oh no, why do I have to take it? He's harmless, unless you're scheduled for execution or for questioning. He's so strange. Always working on something he keeps secret. Then he has that brute of a dog. Trust me, he's gentle as a lamb. Now, take him his food. The maid is glitched out. That's very, very annoying, given that kind of screw up my entire plan here. But that's okay. I can, I can replan it. No big deal. Let them pass. Stop being glitchy, you weirdo. And that takes care of most of the kitchen staff, which lets me explore the kitchen in peace. There is some loot in here, and there's some food if you're hungry. You know. About what you'd expect, honestly. The torturer is a side objective here. We're gonna do it because there's a room down there and because I'm doing all the side objectives, but he is basically a side quest thing and to go visit the torturer. And uh, we're gonna do that. That's the guy who was, uh, you know, torturing the hell out of us when we were in prison. And I think we're gonna take it personally. Just, just saying, I think we're gonna take it personally. The guard way down there and the second guard a little bit past him, which does make going that way a little risky. Security room keys in here if you don't have the skeleton key, which again, you should. If you don't, tis tisk, I guess. But, or a little late now to go back and get it, I suppose. But we're not gonna go down that hallway directly. That would be um, well, a bad idea. In here, in the security room, you can use it to turn off some of the wall of lights in uh, the area further up. The place is crawling with wounds and bone charm, but sadly none of them are directly at our feet, so we'll have to get them later. Hello. That's why we go through doors quietly. And, you know, carefully. Things like that. That is not how we'd be quiet and careful. That was the definition of not quiet and careful. But no one else saw it, so we're still reasonably well off. Never got an alarm sounded, so nothing has changed. Anyway, we picked off a few of the guards. In the main hall, picked off the servants, so they won't be an issue. But I'm thinking I'm probably going to call the video, because it's gone on long enough, I feel. There's a wall of light up ahead. This area leads to the non-lethal path. Go away, rat scum. Not a wall of light, sorry. I believe there's a, um... Oh, what do you call that damn thing? There's a thing upstairs that zaps you, but I took care of it. Again, this is for the non-lethal pass, it's through here, but I'll show it to you anyway, and then I'm gonna stop, as I've said like four times now, but I keep getting distracted because I like this mission. <laughs> this is in the broadcast tower. You can talk to the propaganda officer. Talk, that's, that's the word I'll use to describe what I'm gonna do to him. Yeah, we're gonna talk to him. You're allowed to be detected by him because you have to talk to him. A citywide ban on whale oil is now in effect. Citizens are encouraged to bring any whale oil in their possession to the city watch at once. Anyone caught burning oil will be subject to arrest. This message is a directive from the Lord Regent himself. We must all trust in the Regent. How about that? So, uh, hey buddy. Please, please don't hurt me. You're here to kill the Regent, aren't you? Spare my life, and I can help you beat him. He makes recordings on audiograph, secrets. Some that would destroy him if others heard. Played on this amplifier, his confessions would 
be broadcast throughout the city. He'll be ruined. The audiograph card you want is in a safe in the Lord Regent's room. But I was able to see the combination over his shoulder. 935. Trust me, what's recorded on that card will do the trick. Good luck. That is a viable option, but you've been interrupting my commentary since day one. So no, no, you're taking a sword in the throat. Yeah, speedrun style. Anyway, yeah, that's the non-lethal route. Get the autograph, put it back here, but we'll do with that later. For now, I'm Nosgard Silverclaw, he's Corvo, and the bloodbath is over. We'll actually sneak now. If anybody was annoyed by that fact, uh, well, on the bright side, I'm pretty sure I've run out of things to demonstrate. So, yeah, from here on out, I can just play it however I want, really. Have a good one, everybody.